What's up guys, it's your boy Damon and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about my first impressions on Hu Tao. We had the opportunity to pop into the Asia server and test her out and run around and see uh, what she's all about. And let me just say that Hu Tao has come out for two reasons. To take all your money and to make everybody who summons Shao upset. <laughs> <laughs> but no with that being said um she's actually just insane dude it, like it, it it doesn't even make any sense at all uh there's already footage of her hitting for like 1.48 million damage 1.1 million damage 1.8 million damage you guys will find the link to one of those videos at the end of this video <sighs> but again uh, you know the, the crazy thing for me is it's kind of hard for me to wrap my head around it uh, mainly just because like uh, on on one side, I think if you're free to play right now, uh, this is the best time ever to be free to play, especially and get lucky. Uh, just because Hu Tao has been shown to be strong with literally any weapon. Uh, I was sitting there talking with my chat and a lot of people from Asia were testing her with like White Tassel, which is like a three star spear. Uh, there were some other people that was testing her with like Death March and she was still hitting for 100 to 150k, even 200k in some cases. Um, there were just so many situations where it made it to where it it pretty much doesn't even make sense to get staff of homa unless it's something that you actually actually need outside of that though also the fact that she's pyro uh just sets her up so she's primarily going to be stronger than most of the heroes anyway uh just because with the uh you know again you but the primary question is like people's asking me like yo is uh, she stronger than the heroes i'm like look man she's pretty much stronger than everybody in the game right now and people are like well what about ganyu well, the difference is, is that Ganyu now has become <laughs> Hu Tao support. Uh, just mainly because it's like now when you're creating the melt effect, uh, it's going to allow Hu Tao to basically get 100% bonus damage, which is going to basically set her far apart uh, from other characters. Not to mention that since she's in the trial version uh, with only 181% crit damage, it means that in the trial version they probably put her on a crit rate helmet, a pyro bonus damage cup, and probably an HP percent timepiece, which means that she still has a ton of damage. Her artifacts were only level 18, and she only had about 42 elemental mastery in the test phase, um, so she's not even full swing. And like I said, guys, people are already testing three-star spears, four-star spears, and they're doing really, really good uh, without the need for, for Staff of Homa at all. So on the flip side of that, the good news is that Every single character that's going to come out, I think, is going to be just as strong, probably, as Hu Tao. Uh, not to mention that they will probably end up buffing the other elemental reactions, uh, specifically Electro. So I wouldn't be surprised to see a buff created for the other reactions. Just because right now, Pyro, Hydro, and Cryo is just entirely too strong with Melt and Vaporize, right? And since they are so strong, and now that even with Hu Tao, I wouldn't be surprised to see an update on those reactions very soon. Obviously incentivizing the reason to summon more lightning, so on and so forth. Because as of right now, if you're not doing Melt or Vaporize, you're kind of in a rough spot, right? So I'm curious to see how that is going to pan out. So my overall verdict after playing with her for just a little bit, uh, for a few hours today, uh, just in the test phase before we test her tonight when I'm actually able to summon her, is that if you like her, go for it. Get her. She's definitely the strongest DPS in the game, I'd say easily. Um, I'd say the only comparable is going to be Gan Yu, but it's really going to be in a case-by-case -case basis. But Hu Tao is honestly obnoxious, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and say <laughs> something uh, a little controversial here too as well. Um, because of the fact that they will probably make the rest of the new characters that come out probably, you know, 1.5, 1.6 and beyond outside of Kamisato Ayaka because I'm not expecting much from her just because she's an old character. But all the other new characters, I think, will have to be probably on par with Hu Tao. In that sense, I think it's really good news that she is as strong as she actually is. However, on the flip side, if you guys have been spending money on other characters, well, it's kind of a slap in the face at the same time because it's like, well, those characters uh, sit down because, well, hope you enjoyed your time in the spotlight because it's over. <laughs> Hu <laughs> Tao is here and she's here to stay. Uh, however, they probably will be buffing old characters or come out with new systematic approaches that will allow old characters to then regain strength and then still stay in the limelight so they can keep taking our money. 
So again, in this situation, if you decided not to summon for Hu Tao, uh, just understand that you maybe wanted to wait for Venti, right, in 1.4, or if you wanted to wait for the newer characters like Shen Li, who is, uh, you know, five-star Cryo Claymore, again, falls into the Melt category, so of course you'll be able to DPS, then I think that's something that you could do. But again, I just need you guys to understand that right now, Hu Tao is pretty much top-tier DPS, period, in this game. Like, it's going to be really, really hard to compete with her until the next hero comes out. Unless, of course, they decide to release new weapons that change things for other characters. So, anyway, guys, uh, I just wanted to take a little bit of time um, and talk about this. Uh, my first impressions on her after playing with her on the a Asia server. I will have more feedback, of course. We're going to do, you know, the usual video that we normally do. When we build it, we'll test builds. We'll test it on live stream. We'll summon. Uh, we'll do all that jazz a little bit later. So... With that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, this is your boy, Damone, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.